Hello Space Fam, it's me, Mr. X. Today, we have three problems to solve under 2.3 minutes. Here's the problem. Why Mars is called a red planet? Why is soil and rock on Mars important to scientists? Do you think human will ever visit Mars? Let's go to this amazing adventure. We are running out of time. We are on our way to Mars. The fourth planet from the sun. Look, there it is. Sticky. Do you know why it is called a red planet? Well, Mr. X, the soil and rock on Mars are red. The surface of Mars is covered in a rusty red dust called iron oxide. It's kind of rust that you might see on metal object. Isn't it interesting? Look. We can see the red rock and soil all around us. This is what gives Mars its famous red color. Now, it's another question for my space fans. Can you guess why the red soil and rock on Mars are important to scientists? Is it because they make good building material for Martian house? B. They can be used to make red paints. Or C. They provide clues about Mars history, whether there was water on the planet. Um, that's correct, space fam. The answer is C. They provide clues about Mars history and whether there was water on the planet. Scientists study the red rock and soil to learn more about Mars past and if it had right condition for life. Look, Mr. X. We have found Martian rover. These rovers are like robotic explorers that help scientists learn even more about Mars. They collect samples of the red soil and rock and send back important information to Earth. Professor Sticky, do you think human will ever visit Mars and work on the red soil? Yes, human will visit Mars one day. Scientists and engineers are working hard to make it possible for astronauts to explore Mars and maybe, just maybe, even build a colony there in the future. Just imagine that. Whoa, that's amazing. We have learned so much about why Mars is called a red planet. It's all because of a red soil and rock that covers its surface. Exploring Mars is like going to a big adventure. Thank you so much for joining me on this exciting journey. Remember, keep asking questions, keep exploring, and who knows what other amazing discoveries we'll make together. Bye-bye. See you next time.